Hi, I'm Katie and welcome back to Up North Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a cherry pretzel salad. Um, it's really addictive and I just discovered it. It's one of my favorite desserts. So let's jump into the recipe. Alright, so in the bowl here I have a half of a bag of pretzels and that was a one pound bag and into that I'm adding three quarters of a cup of melted butter and three tablespoons of sugar and then going to be mixing that all up and then once this is all combined we're going to add it into a 9 by 13 inch pan And then we're going to press that into the bottom of the pan. And this will be baked in a preheated oven that is at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 to 10 minutes. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to toss that in the oven, gently. And now we're going to be moving on to the filling. But first, you want to set your timer because I'm notorious for forgetting to set a timer. So I'm going to set a timer on our microwave here for 8 minutes. Okay, so now we are going to be starting our cream cheese filling. And so I'm going to be adding 8 ounces of cream cheese to our mixing bowl here. And I'm going to whip that up for a little bit. And then I'm going to add in one cup of sugar to that and scrape down the sides of the bowl. And then I'm going to mix this until it's combined. Okay, now it's all combined and we're going to add in an 8 ounce tub of whipped topping and I'm just going to get this paddle out of here and kind of scoot the mixer out of the way as well. Scrape off all this stuff here. Okay, now I'm going to add in the topping, the whipped topping, and that gets folded in. So now we're just going to fold that in until it's combined again. Folding, you go kind of around the bowl down, scoop up, and bring it back over. The 
angle is kind of hard. <laughs> So then once this is all combined, we're going to just set it aside and wait for our crust to be done cooling. Alright, so the timer just went off for the crust and I'm just going to take that out of the oven. And it looks really tasty. Kind of see that the sugar is melted a little bit and kept them all together. Don't touch that, it'll burn you. Alright, so now that is going to cool for a little bit, and we'll put the cream cheese filling on. Okay, so we are going to be making the cherry topping for the dessert now. And so I've drained the maraschino cherries into a measuring cup and added water to that to make two cups. And now we have to bring that to a boil. And once that's boiling, we'll add in our cherry jello packets to this mixture until it's dissolved. Okay, so it's boiling now and I'm going to add in two packets of cherry jello and those packets are three ounces each. I'm going to turn off the heat now that it's boiling and just stir in the jello until it's dissolved. Okay, so it's all nice and dissolved in there. We're going to add our cherries to that mixture. And then we have to let that cool until it's like a little bit hardened up. Alright, so our crust is chilled and our cherry stuff, cherry topping is ready to go now. Um, and as you can see, it's hardened up a little bit. It's still a little bit runny, but it's perfect for topping. So we're going to add the cream cheese filling to the crust now. And then we're going to spread it out. Going to fling it everywhere too. And make sure to get every last drop, <laughs> or as much as you can at least. Spread that around, get it as evenly spread out as possible. Okay, that is looking pretty good. Now we're going to add our cherry topping. And scrape all that out as best you can and spread that around. And then once it's all spread out, it will go and rest in the refrigerator for a few hours until the jello has completely set up. And then we can slice and show you what it looks like then. Alright, there we go. Ready for the refrigerator. Alright, so our dessert is all done setting up and I'm going to take a bite out of the cherry pretzel salad now. Like I said before, this is my favorite dessert, so I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. Very good. Trying to get a cherry from the middle here.
It's um, the cherry is very tart, and with the creamy, sweet filling, it's just balances out perfectly. And the salty crust <laughs> is delicious. It's my favorite. And so I hope you get a chance to make it and try it. You can find the written recipe for this and all of our other recipes on our Facebook, Up North Kitchen. Uh, have a good, good time.